Bonjour, my name is Louise Saint-Jacques and I work for Buffy Promotions in Montreal and I am the official engraver of the Stanley Cup. So I'm very happy to do this for Selwyn House School that my son attended and very proud of him, very proud of the school. So I'm very happy to do this for you guys. In 2002, I did bring the Stanley Cup uh, to the school for the um, students to uh, see it in person. And um, it was with a class of Mr. Rondeau. I've been doing this for 38 years and the process hasn't changed at all in the 38 years. You would think that you would have an easier way of doing it but it's the good old-fashioned way of doing it and it's not engraved it is stamped letter by letter with this hammer that's been passed on and the sets of letters we have uh, three different sets of letters and numbers also to stamp the year so when i first received the cup I pick it up at Via Rail, it, that, that's how it arrives most of the time. Sometimes it arrives with uh, at the airport, I pick it up at Trudeau Airport. But most of the time it's uh, by train Via Rail and uh, Mr. Pritchard hands me the cup at the station. Uh, and it comes to our office and uh, then we start dismantling it to be able to have the, the band that we're going to be working on, which is at the bottom. It consists of five bands, so prior years are on the top and, and we go down. So when we first get it, we take it apart in two, from, from the bowl to the neck is one part, and then we have the five bands that are on a, a form. We then take the band that we're going to be working on and it's put on a, a metal uh, form that's already rounded in the shape of this band so we can start stamping. But prior to stamping, we have to get the list of names from the NHL that the team has provided to the NHL and has been approved by the NHL and then it comes to us. The ban is for 13 years. So then we have to make sure that we don't overstep on the following year because then we're gonna be short on space. So everything is measured. Uh, all the names are rechecked and rechecked and rechecked of course for mistakes or if they should arrive. And uh, then we uh, start engraving. So the first thing that goes on is the team and then the year. And then normally it's the owners. But when we do start doing the players, the captain is always the first one, first name that we put. Even if we put them by alphabetical order, the captain is always first. And he is the only one that has a title now. There has been 2,394 names already stamped on the cup and hopefully much more to come and hopefully for 2021 also. Normally the time that I have the cup in our office is about 10 days, a week to 10 days. It takes me, it's hard to say depending on the names, but uh, like 30, 30 minutes to do one name. So that's why we like to have it for longer and take our time to do it and do a good job. I'm very proud that we still stamp the cup in Montreal. The Canadian fans are pretty awesome. Started being stamped in Montreal and it still remains in Montreal. It's pretty nice. It, and it's a local heritage. I'm very proud to have been the engraver, the official engraver. It's been an honor and it still is. I'm always thrilled to see the cup arriving in Montreal when I pick it up. Uh, it has meant a lot to my mom and my son. They are my biggest supporters and my biggest fans. So I'm very privileged to be the official Stanley Cup engraver. Thank you.